troubled with rapture. Together with the psalmist in Psalm 103, we can exclaim, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. My heart is filled to overflowing with gratitude to the Lord for what He has done for me. He knew of all my trouble and how I had suffered with a rupture for 27 years. I went through agony, but I kept trusting God for healing. I had read in the Comforter that the meetings in Bloemfontein would commence on the 24th of October and decided to go there. As I did what Brother Branham had told me, I felt as though a great weight had been lifted from me. I noticed it especially when I walked. My stomach felt so easy. I had never been able to sleep in any other way than with my left hand supporting the rapture. Now this is not necessary anymore. My burdens and cares are now all rolled away. I can only say, the love of Jesus is wonderful, wonderful, and I give God all the glory. J.M.H. Co-signed by Pastor J.J.G. Kidney and Heart Trouble I want to testify for my friend who is 12 years of age. This child was ill for 7 years. She had rheumatic fever when she was 5 years and was in and out of bed with heart trouble and other things. We came with high faith to these meetings, believing that Brother Branham was going to be able to pray and Jesus would heal her completely. She got a prayer card but was not called to the prayer line and was disappointed, I know. But he picked her out from the audience and he spoke about her kidney trouble. I thought, oh, he is not going to pray for her heart trouble. But he did. He saw it too. Jesus showed that she also had a heart condition and she is healed of both of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. SR Stomach Trouble and Rapture I just wish to testify that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, still performing signs and wonders. He is unchangeable. I have suffered for four years because of my stomach. I have spent many restless nights. The doctor prescribed powders, but they were of little help. When Brother Branham was in Bloemfontein, we decided to go there and be prayed for. While he was praying for all the sick, the Lord touched and healed me. My wife was also healed the same evening of a rapture. Praise God for His mercy. HCH, co-signed by Pastor JJG. Heart Trouble I have suffered from heart trouble for many years. I was not able to exert myself in the slightest way without feeling the effects of it. But praise God, I have been healed. While attending the meetings at East London, November the 18th, I accepted my healing from the Lord. Under the ministry of Brother Branham, the Lord touched me and healed me completely. During the meetings which followed my healing, I helped carry the sick patients up and down the steps without feeling any reaction. This is something I could not have done unless God had healed me. J.H.P. Suffered from angina. This is the most wonderful moment of my life. On Wednesday morning, I could not have walked at a fair pace the length of a football ground without palpitation, shortness of breath, and a bad pain in my arm that anyone knows about who has suffered with angina. When you cannot walk, and besides you cannot bend to do a bit of gardening, and you dare not pick up a watering can or pick up a few flowers, then all is not well. And so on Wednesday, I came to the meeting with every faith that somehow I was going to find God in His full blessing. Brother Branham opened his speech and he spoke with such velocity of faith. This wonderful upliftment flowed through the whole of my body and ran off my hands like electricity. I knew then I was healed, although I dare not say it. I thought I would wait for tomorrow but I knew before I got home that my body was better because the walk to my car was so easy. The next morning, I walked on the eastern beach with my wife and back again against a strong wind. I did some gardening and hoeing, and today I walked the stiffness off because I have never had such good walks in my life. Praise the Lord. SCH Youth Healed from Dreadful Headaches After being sick and doctoring for five years, I received my healing in Bloemfontein the 24th of October. Brother Branham told me that I was suffering from the most dreadful headaches, which was the truth. But I was instantaneously healed after he told me that Jesus had healed me and that I could now rejoice in the healing which was mine. 
I am 14 years old, and because of what Jesus Christ has done for me, I have surrendered my life to Him. A.S. Infantile Paralysis and Cancer I suffered with infantile paralysis for over 27 years. Lately, I have had internal cancer, but was healed instantly after the collective prayer the 24th of October in Bloemfontein. My doctor says it is a real miracle and is very glad that I am healed. My healing has brought my husband and children to the Lord. Praise His holy name. GED Three members of one family receiving healing the same evening. For me, it is a great privilege to be able to testify of the blessing and healing received during the Branham campaign at Bloemfontein. I received my healing on the 27th of October at Bloemfontein, and I cannot thank the Lord enough for my deliverance. For five years, I suffered rheumatic fever annually, and the sixth year, when I turned 10, my nerves gave in. For six months, I was in the general hospital in Bethlehem. When I was 12, my left knee started swelling up. The first two or three years it was not so bad, but later the condition became worse. Of recent times, after venturing to walk a mile, my leg would become so aggravated that for five or six days I'd be unable to walk. I consulted twelve different doctors. We had even gone as far as to consult which doctors, but none could do anything to help me. The doctors and specialists of Bloemfontein told my parents that they could neither do anything nor make a proper diagnosis. Dr. Fissa of Bloemfontein said that I'd had knee trouble and that it would become normal at about 24 or 25 years of age. Only a week previous to that, Dr. Skierpers of Johannesburg diagnosed torn cartilage which could be rectified by means of an operation. Because we were resident in the Orange Free State, the operation had to be performed in Bloemfontein. The following week, the specialist at Bloemfontein refused to operate and very downhearted and disappointed, I returned home the same night. My condition became worse and my knee was not only swollen, but by now my whole leg and ankle and foot also. I was given a different injection as the doctor thought I had dropsy. A second night, I never slept. Following day, we consulted another doctor. Dr. Kellerman and Dr. Yodan examined me very well and they believed that the muscles above the kneecap had weakened too much to keep the kneecap high enough in position, thus causing water to collect. Dr. Kellerman prescribed that I should stay in bed for a week and do certain knee exercises. Thursday of the following week, my right hand and arm also began to swell. I slept for three days and three nights, and the doctor feared that I might have been getting sleeping sickness. When we heard of the man who was sent by God to heal the sick through prayer, my parents immediately decided that they would take me to him for healing. It was wonderful to behold cripples rising from their beds and stretchers and to see ambulances leaving the meetings empty. Two of my father's sisters and I received our healing on Thursday evening. From that day, I have no more pain in my leg and hand and have been able to do embroidery work with that hand and walk just where I want to without any ill effect. I was a member of the Dutch Reformed Church of Bethlehem. I, as well as my parents and the whole family, are thankful to the Lord for the healing which He has granted me after suffering for nearly 12 years. J.D. Kidney ailment and high blood pressure Ever since I have been two years old, I have suffered from a kidney ailment. The last few years, my hands and feet have been swollen and I have been suffering from high blood pressure. During the meetings in Bloemfontein, Brother Branham pointed me out and told me that I had been suffering because of a kidney ailment. He asked me if this was correct, and I nodded my head. Then he asked me if I believed in God and if I believed God would heal me, whereupon I again answered in the affirmative. He replied by telling me that God had already healed me. The following morning all the swelling was gone, the blood pressure was normal and my kidneys have not given me any trouble since the 24th of October when Brother Branham spoke to me. I want to thank God for this experience because it has brought me closer to Jesus and my parents and I feel very happy about it. AP Infantile Paralysis, Appendicitis and Stomach Trouble I was suffering since my birth. I am 13 years of age. I suffered from infantile paralysis. 
I could not eat anything or I would start vomiting. I was swollen under the breast and had pains in my stomach which occurred after meals. I went from one doctor to another but no success. I used any kind of medicine but nothing helped. I am very thin and tiny for my age and look like a child of 8 years. The 26th of October, I was called to the platform to be prayed for. I stood in front of Brother Branham. He said, Sweetheart, do you believe? I said, Yes. He said, You suffer from appendicitis and a severe stomach trouble. He laid hands on me and prayed for me. I felt like I rose from the ground and a thrill went through my body. I knew from that moment I was healed. Now I can eat, jump, run and do everything I could not do before. The dear Lord has done so much for me. V.S. Both Husband and Wife Delivered Praise God! Both my husband and I received our healing the same evening. Brother Branham turned to me and said, You on the last stretcher are a dying woman and unless you get up out of your bed you will never recover. It is your liver, is it not? You are healed. I got up at once and since then I have never looked back. Praise the Lord. I had been in bed for five months with an abscessed liver, but since that evening I have been perfectly well. G.K. Sinus Trouble I received my healing in Cape Town. I had been suffering from sinus trouble, but within a week after I was prayed for, there was no trace of it. Praise God, I have been delivered. R.J.K. Deaf in one ear since birth. I received my healing the 4th of November at Cape Town. I had been deaf in my left ear since birth, but my right ear was good. Brother Bosworth prayed for me and I received my hearing in that left ear instantly. Thanks be to God. Yours faithfully, G.A. Asthma and bronchitis are gone. Since I was about a month old, I had been suffering from attacks of asthma and bronchitis, and approximately two months ago, I was in bed with pneumonia. After being allowed to get up by the doctor, I had been left with a very bad pain in my lungs. It was quite coincidental that I should have attended your second meeting, the date being November 11, 1951. I was asked by Mrs. van der Westhazen if I could find the time to pick her up after this meeting had ended at about 10 p.m. that evening. This I did. Arriving at Wingfield about 9.40 p.m., I was just in time to hear the closing of the meeting. It seemed to convey something to me, what I did not exactly know, and I decided to attend the full meeting the following night. I had been fascinated with the service because my faith in Jesus had been growing right through the meeting. Before even leaving the area, I felt the pain in my chest had begun weakening and within two to three days the pain had left, all but a mere stab now and then. Since then I have removed the excess clothes which I had been wearing, considering them unnecessary. I have not found it necessary to wear these articles since and have not had any signs of difficulty in breathing. LWH Leakage of the Heart and Severe Headaches I was held in Cape Town on October 31, 1951. Since I was a child, I always had to take tonics as I was very weak. When I was 16, my parents took me to a doctor and he declared that I had a leaking heart. I always felt tired out. Then I had rheumatic fever when I was 17 and this also affected my heart. As I got older, my heart got weaker. A few weeks before Brother Branham arrived, I felt I was gradually going down. I only prayed to live until Brother Branham arrived as I was sure that Jesus would heal me. The first night of Brother Branham's meetings, after he had prayed for the sick on the platform, he told us to believe and I was healed instantaneously. I felt like a new person from that very moment. Also, I suffered from severe nervous headaches. I could never be in crowds. After big meetings, my head was usually in such a state that I could not open my eyes. On the Friday night, November 2nd, it suddenly struck me in the meeting that the Lord had healed me from that as well. I never had a headache since that Wednesday night. I praise and thank Jesus for healing me through the ministry of Brother Branham. It will be three weeks tomorrow. I cannot help telling everybody about the healing power there is in the blood of Jesus. Praise His name. 
E S。